Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we finally get to take a look at the other two paint variants of the Nanmu Triceratops. We did actually review this figure probably about a week, maybe a week and a half ago when the original Jurassic Park style version had shown up, but there are also two different paint variants on top of the JP style ones. Of course, they're all the same sculpt, minus the sick Triceratops, that's a different sculpt, but obviously all resembling a Jurassic Park style Triceratops and you can see that again straight away with the box art here showing you that it is exactly the same sculpt as the previous one but we have two different alternate paint schemes which is something that Nanmu usually does they usually give us at least two potentially more and lately we've been blessed with even more paint schemes than we would normally get so we can see we have this variant which does not tell you anything whatsoever as far as the paint application goes you'll just have to wait until we get it out to see but this one here which is really cool that they have such a different style box for this one but I think the fact that you can see this box looks very cow-like should be a pretty good indication of the paint scheme on this Triceratops and the cow version actually does not have any type of a image of the Triceratops or anything on the box at all it's just the empty box and I do already have my Triceratops here, the cow-like version out of the box. I don't have this one out quite yet, so I'm really excited to actually get a look at this one. The cow version had arrived a day or two ago, and I wanted to wait until I got this one to review both. And of course, I'm impatient to see Nanmu Beauty, so I did open the cow version, which is absolutely incredible. But this version was probably one of the coolest looking paint schemes I've seen on a Triceratops in a very long time. So I'm really psyched to get this out as well. So let's break it out of its box right now. So just like with the kind of standard JP version, we have the really nice looking art card that is included showing a really beautiful image of the Triceratops approaching a watering hole and as well kind of a throwback to the Nanmu Apatosaurus back there which is another model that I highly recommend you picking up because that's one of the most beautiful Apatosaurus models I've ever seen in my life but again the art card is gorgeous and the fact that it's approaching a watering hole actually kind of ties into the bases which I really like but if we look at the back of the art card we have those hand-drawn images back here which I just absolutely adore I always love this part of the art cards because I just love that hand-drawn type of a look like that pencil type drawing look of dinosaurs always reminds me of Crash McCreary type artwork so I'm a huge fan of this side of the art card continuously. And then we also have our bases, and both of these bases are unlike the previous base. Previous base was more of like a muddy area or a sandy area, kind of looking like it's approaching the watering hole, like the image shows us there on the art card but these look like obviously water like it's definitely a very water-like appearance one of which shows a beautiful blue and kind of clear looking water the other is a little bit of a dirtier water with a green but I like the fact that they've given them different appearances so that they don't have that exact same look but obviously again kind of a nod to the art card giving us the image of like a triceratops kind of waiting in the water there at the watering hole and something else that's really cool that I actually didn't know is that even with these alternate paint schemes you get both horns you get the broken horn and the very healthy horn to apply to your triceratops so you still get the choice as far as the horn goes with the triceratops no matter which color scheme you go with i thought this was only like a Jurassic Park color scheme exclusive type thing but actually it's for all three which is super awesome and then here is the alternate color scheme of the triceratops find his happy place there on his base and man does that look beautiful like you're never truly prepared I would say for how gorgeous a Nanmu release will be until you actually see it in person and out of the box in hand it is just incredible I really love that paint scheme it just looks so natural but at the same time a bit flashier and just overall beautiful as per usual when it comes to a Nanmu release they always give us a great paint job and paint scheme no matter what model it is that they're releasing and then we have our, if I move this one back a little bit because I don't want them to get in the way, we've got our cow-like version. Again, I think I actually have the base backwards this time. So we've got to move that base around a little bit there. We'll get our base in a good spot. There we go. We've got the cow-like version of the Triceratops and such a cool and very unique idea on the part of Nanmu to come up with a paint scheme that looks like this. It's 
actually so much cooler in hand and in person than I ever in a million years would have expected it to be. Had you just said, I'm going to paint a Triceratops and make it look like a cow, I would have been like, well, that's an interesting idea, but I don't know if I could go for that until I got this Nanmu one in hand, and it is just so insanely cool. It's honestly one of the most striking appearances for a Triceratops that I personally never realized would look so cool on a Triceratops. So we're going to go ahead and get a closer look at both of these beautiful models right now. So we will start with the cow-like version and straight away you can see that the paint job looks beautiful absolutely beautiful they've done a really good job on top of of course giving it this really cool cow like look but of making sure that the detailing pops so nicely like you can see a lot of really nice dry brushing has been applied up here to the head sculpt of this triceratops in the frill area it just pops so nicely with the really light coloration of dry brushing like it's kind of like a like a weird light tan kind of color behind it and then they've beautifully dry brushed all of this sculpt workout throughout the entire model with like a white and it just it just pops so beautifully I cannot stress how nice the actual head sculpt looks as far as the way that the detailing just pops so nicely here on it in person and of course you have the black areas very cow like to the triceratops and they're all outlined with a white coloration and even brighter white than the kind of like off-white that they've used to highlight all of the detail here on the face the eyes are painted again beautifully I don't know if it's a paint job or a decal that they put in there but it always looks so lifelike and so realistic and just blows my mind every time I look at how nice the eyes are on a Nanmu model and they are also picture perfect as far as the gloss coat used so they shine very realistically as far as the coloration up here on the beak and the horns you can see it's also very realistic it's really nicely dry brushed with like a variation of almost like an orangish brown so the detail all pops beautifully you can see the inside of the mouth there really nice gloss coat in there as well you can see the tongue and we do have a purplish coloration inside the mouth of this triceratops right there you can see that the horns up here are painted in the same way that the beak and that horn down here is painted with like that orangish or yellowish brown and it's a really nice light variation of a brown and it makes all the detail pop with that darker brown behind it and the way that I don't know if they've dry brushed it over or if they've used a wash to put in there but it makes every ounce every crack and crevice on the horns just pop in a really nice very natural fashion and you can continue to see that throughout all of these spikes that run around the frill again it looks incredible and we have more of those black spots showing up up here on the frill you can see them just very sporadically showing up like there's no designated way that it's applied it's just kind of wherever except for of course around the eye both sides do have that black that circles the eye the nostrils are also elaborated with a black coloration up there which I did not point out previously and then as we move back here into the body again I actually do want to state that we're not going to review the sculpt as we have already done that in the initial review of the JP color scheme triceratops so it would be a little redundant to do it again if you would like to see a more detailed review of the actual sculpt make sure you check the link that I will have in the description to the original Jurassic Park style Triceratops review so you can check that out as well but you can see that as we move back here into the body you have that really nice looking cow like look with the black spots and design showing up all throughout the Triceratops and again that white kind of borders around and rings around all of those black spots and just looks super super nice we again have that really nice dry brushing here on the underside with a light white or an off white actually it is pretty bright white here and you can see that every little scale just pops so beautifully and as usual the detailing aspect of a Nanmu model is just so vibrant and you can see that throughout this entire model especially now that it has a lighter color scheme on it in comparison to that JP style version that we had taken a look at previously because that JP style version is a lot darker so it's really impressive to see just how nice the detailing aspect is on the model with a lighter color scheme on it and you can even see variations of like browns and stuff showing up throughout the model in certain areas so it's not like it's just one solid color here in the kind of lighter areas which is almost like a it's a weird like almost a gray but like a creamy type of a color that they have for the primary body color but there are also again variations of browns and stuff showing up throughout the model very realistic paint application as usual so it doesn't look like it's any type of like a you know paint job on a model like it genuinely looks like the color of this animal you can even see more of those black spots showing up on the rear of the frill which is super cool as well as again some of those browns 
kind of showing up in certain spots as well. It looks like maybe there's a brown wash on the back of the frill, which looks really cool. And then you can see more of those, you know, cow-like spots and designs over here on the opposing side of the Triceratops. It is just an incredibly cool appearance for a Triceratops, and it's something that I never realized I needed in my life, but boy, am I ever so happy to have it, is a Triceratops with a cow-like color scheme. And then we have this gorgeous version, and I actually gave this one the broken horn right there just for this review. I may change it to the healthy horn, I'm not too sure quite yet, but I love that with these Triceratops models, Nanmu has actually painted each different Triceratops their own coloration for their horns, like they're not always the same color as the previous one, really shows you the sheer amount of work that Nanmu puts into their models, but just how far they'll go to give you the best possible product. As far as this one goes in the color scheme and paint application, you can see lots of really nice tones of color, beautiful washes applied to the face right here, as well as kind of like a grayish green that we have up here on the top of the snout of the Triceratops, and you can see that it runs down here all throughout the face, and there's also like some light hints of browns and stuff right there. Another beautiful dry brushing type of an application to the paint paint here on the underside making sure all of that detail pops beautifully but then once we come up to the frill you can see again some really nice variations of like browns grays that greenish gray some whites like off whites there's just so much going on as far as the coloration up here on the frill but I don't feel like it's anything that's overly flashy as far as the paint application goes and that's one of the things that I really love about it the most and it just makes it insanely realistic like Nanmu always does a good job of not only choosing the tones of color for their models but making sure that every model they release looks incredibly lifelike in the coloration that they release it in I've never seen a Nanmu model that look like anything other than absolutely natural when it comes to the coloration that they've given it and that is again kudos to Nanmu and their incredible ability to always give us a beautiful product and you can see the same style paint application over here again with the really nice like greenish grays and the variations of browns and off whites and everything it's just so nicely applied nice stripes and everything up here on the frill to make sure that that pops beautifully you can see the eyes are yet again painted to perfection or applied with a decal again i'm not too sure they're given a really nice gloss coat so they shine very lifelike very realistically you can see the nostrils are yet again highlighted with a darker coloration the beak and horns are painted with a nice light brown on this one and you can also see that up here on the horns up here on the top of the triceratops again it just looks so beautiful and the coloration of the horns just matches the rest of the paint scheme of this triceratops picture perfectly you can see the inside of the mouth of this one again sports that really nice gloss coat in there again a really beautiful very realistic tone of color that they've chosen for the inside of the mouth the really nice dark tone of purple in there and then as we lead back into the body yet again so much realism to the paint application and there's like a lot of really nice dry brushing techniques that have been done to make the detail pop you can really see it right here in the stomach region but there's a lot of different tones of color like you don't just see this light brown here in the stomach you could see it like showing up up here and you could see it up here even up here on the top so it's really nice and natural the way that they've applied the paint to this triceratops again in a very very realistic way the nails are all painted beautifully like you always find on a nanmu model there is never any sloppiness that i don't think i've ever encountered on a nanmu model and i love the way that they have all these stripes like these beautiful darker stripes that run down the course of the entire body of the triceratops but then they mesh down here into the legs and run down the course of the thigh it's really nice and then there's like this somewhat lighter shade of like a light gray that runs down the front of the legs you can see that up here on the front leg as well and then as we lead back out into the tail you continue to see those really nice stripes that run down the entire course of the tail you can even see like some nice hints of green right here as well and some more of that beautiful dry brushing has been applied to the underside of the triceratops you can almost see like a faint striping of the lighter coloration down here as well even another little area of like green showing up i love the way they do that just giving it real subtle areas of like different coloration throughout which is 100 percent a realistic aspect of something you would really see on living breathing animals like this that's so cool and you can again see that the coloration looks just as nice over here as it did on the previous side we see more of that really nice dry brushing which also helps to make some of these osteoderms in the stomach region pop beautifully and then you see more of those really nice stripes running down the course of the back and the 
gorgeous color variation to this Triceratops is so, so nice. I absolutely love the color scheme of this Triceratops. And you can see again those light stripes here coming up from the underside back here on the tail, as well as those darker stripes leading down from the top. The underside also sports again that really nice dry brushing, but there's like a dry brushing mixed with some variations of like a tannish brown here on the underside. So this Triceratops is just as beautiful as every one of the other Triceratops we've taken a look at. And that's again something that I feel like is so incredible on the part of Nanmu is that they always give us beautiful paint schemes like I usually cannot choose between one or the other as far as which one is my favorite and this is again another perfect example of that. And then as far as the bases go, again they're really Cool looking, very translucent, which you can obviously see my fingers through. Beautifully showing off the water effect to the bases. Again, the one for the greenish, grayish type of a version has like a really beautiful blue type of a color. Really nice, delicious, honestly looking water. Maybe I'm just really thirsty, but that's the type of water that if I were a Triceratops, I would 1000% be looking to get a drink from this body of water specifically with water that crystal clear and beautiful and blue but then we also have the cow like version of the water we have a little bit of a greener appearance so not quite as nice looking as the other coloration of water as far as what would be potentially tasty for a triceratops but i really don't think that they were too picky i think that they'd be perfectly happy drinking from either body of water this looks more like honestly like a pond type of a water like a stagnant body of water and this one kind of looks more like it would be like under a waterfall or like a stream or something just a little bit clearer a little bit cleaner water but both are beautiful bases really nicely sculpted perfectly displaying that water like effect and overall another really cool addition to this unbelievable set of nanmu models as far as the size goes even though we have already measured it in the initial review we will measure it again here in case you don't watch the initial review but if we are going for a length actually if we go from the tail to the horn instead of the snout i may have gone to the snout in the initial review but the horn goes a little longer so you are looking at just shy of 11 and a half inches or about the 29 closing in a 29 and a half centimeter range and then for a height to the top of the frill you are looking at about five and a quarter inches or about 13, 13 and a half, somewhere in that vicinity, centimeters. And of course, this is exactly the same size as the other Triceratops back here. They are the exact same sculpt, so they would be the exact same size. So for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to both of our Nanmu Triceratops here and you can definitely get a good idea overall of the fact that these models are very sizable like each of the Triceratops have been when it comes to this Nanmu release they're all really nicely sized very large not overly large though they're honestly a beautiful very striking size I would say as far as a Triceratops goes and Definitely a large enough size that Mr. Papo Rex over there should not even attempt to take either of them down would not be a good idea on his part. But hopefully with these figures here in comparison, you'll have a good idea again of the fact that they are a gorgeous size. And then here is the entire Nanmu Triceratops family all under one roof, I guess you could say, as we have the cow-like version, the alternate paint scheme, which I don't really know how to term that one, I guess grayish, greenish, bluish version. Then we've got the Jurassic Park style version and then we've also got the sick Triceratops Jurassic Park style version so all four Triceratops all in one shot and I must say that these are easily four of my favorite Nanmu models yet just unbelievable on all four so Nanmu continuously releases impressive releases all the time they continuously up the bar I would say with pretty much every release that they put out I honestly am just flabbergasted continuously nowadays when it comes to their releases like they were always great from the initial onset with their Berserker Rex I was just so in love with the Nanmu line and I must say the last few releases like if you look back at the Giganotosaurus which was the release prior to this that was easily one of the most impressive dinosaur models not just of the year of all time I can say that with complete confidence and if you don't agree with that I feel like you probably need to get the Nanmu Giganotosaurus in hand and look at it and then you'll probably agree with me then but this one again is also just I would say as impressive as the Nanmu Giganotosaurus was because 
the Triceratops that we have here, all four different versions are so insanely beautiful as far as the detailing aspect and paint aspect, as well as the overall scene that they are portraying. It's just unbelievable how much work Nanmu has put into these and just how beautiful the payoff is as far as the overall models go. The two different paint variants that we have here that we've taken a look at this time would obviously be that really beautiful looking kind of like greenish, grayish, bluish type of a version, which I really, really love. I would say if it weren't for the Jurassic Park version, because I've waited so long to get that Jurassic Park Triceratops, that perfect example of a Jurassic Park Triceratops, if it weren't for the fact that they had created the really beautiful JP style version, that would be my favorite version. And it's honestly one of my favorite appearances on a Triceratops that I can say in a very long time, if ever. Like that paint scheme is just so beautiful. It's really, really striking, but really, really natural. And it's just very impressive due to how natural, but how striking it looks all at the same time. Nanmu did a phenomenal job at coming up with a paint scheme for that Triceratops that looked so good and they've applied it to it perfectly on this model. And then we have that really cool cow-like version, which honestly, I never again realized I needed a Triceratops that had a cow-like paint scheme to it in my life until I saw this, and I could not be happier, honestly, to have one because it just translated so well from their prototype to the actual factory released figure, and it's such a really cool, unique look for a Triceratops, but a really nice and natural, honestly, look. Like, I could now, after seeing this paint scheme on a Triceratops, I could honestly see a Triceratops being that coloration. So it's not like it's just a really cool kind of a off-the-wall paint variant of a Nanmu Triceratops. Like, here in hand, looking at it, it honestly looks really natural on the figure and is overall a beautiful-looking Triceratops, yet again, kind of topping off all four of the beautiful Triceratops released by Nanmu. And then you have the really cool bases having that watery type of a look to them. They absolutely look perfect as far as that translucent water-like appearance to them. And also it's kind of so cool that they did that with like a kind of a nod to the art card or the art card was potentially a nod to the base. I'm not too sure, but with the initial JP style Triceratops, it's kind of walking on like the shoreline with the sandy type of an area. But then the other two are obviously inside the water just kind of walking along the edge of the water or something like that because they're obviously not in very deep considering they're only standing at like the top of the water. But I really love the idea that they came up with to kind of create a scene for you, even including the bases of the Triceratops. So cool on the part of Nanmu. So each and every one of the Triceratops released from Nanmu here are easily some of the best, if not the best Triceratops models that I've ever seen in my entire life. And without question, they all deserve a place in any dinosaur collection. They are just, no matter which way you go, they're just beautiful. So make sure that you one way or another pick up at least one of these or potentially all of them like I have here because you are definitely going to be a huge fan of each and every one of these Triceratops. So make sure you check the description as I will include a link right there for you to purchase these on Dan's Dinosaurs. Head on over there, buy yourself a beautiful Nanmu Triceratops or four beautiful Nanmu Triceratops and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.